Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel in more Bible here and uh, welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft 119. Today guys, we're going to do a few things. One of those is going to be trying to kill the warden. You can see that I have set up this uh, a scenario here and I want to show you what to do to kill the warden. But it's a few things that we are going to need and uh, let me explain very, very quickly. Now, remember, this is only game. You're going to need a bow. That's going to be uh, really important because uh, the warden usually have a really strong uh, melee attack and uh, you don't want to do that. And obviously, if you want a bow, you want arrows as well. And that's important because if you are going to have an enchantment early game and you have infinity, you only need one arrow. To kill the warden without the infinity enchantment, you are going to need a whole stack at least. Okay, And of course, you're going to need food as well. And uh, as I said, the enchantment you have it. So whenever you are going down and try to kill the warden, make sure that you get all these things with you. Imperative to kill the warden. So I'm going to leave you to it, guys. I'm going to show you how to do it. Good luck. Uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, take care. Okay, guys, let's zoom on the board. And you see they have make a hole here, two by two with some trap doors. That's really important because you want to trap the warden right there. And effectively, what will happen is that he won't be able to get out of there. Now, uh, you need to assume that you will do this uh, on game when you are playing it. So, uh, you know, it may be a bit more difficult. Uh, this markers, this one uh, symbolizes the sonic boom. It has 15 blocks away. Sonic boom will affect you for 15 uh, blocks and darkness, which is there, will affect you for 19 blocks. Now, if you stay on the range of 15 blocks, that darkness will reset itself constantly. So once you get to 19 blocks distance, the minimum, you can see the darkness disappear. That's really important. From that moment on, you just keep shooting until the warden dies. So uh, a couple of things I want to mention very quickly is that the warden melee attack has a cooldown of 0 0.9 seconds and disable shields for five seconds. So if you thought in bringing a shield, it's not going to happen, okay? Uh, as I said as well, the Sonic Boom directly attacks the target, passing through blocks and other mobs without damaging them. Very important that. The Warden takes 1.7 seconds to charge up. the unleashes the attack, which instantly hits the target as long as the target is within the attack range. So that's why it's so important that you keep the distance. Keep in mind, the, uh, about 19 blocks, you will be the safest. So when you try to set up this trap for the warden, make sure that you have enough room to walk back at least 19 uh, blocks. That is really important. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it, okay? Uh, something else that you need to know about the uh, warden is that they do not use a standard mob spawning uh, mechanics. Instead, they are spawned when a player activates his skull strikers. And that is important. You can see my video up here on, on the corner, uh, how I block the uh, uh, the skulks. And that is important. If you want to zoom on the border, the border of course, then you don't do that. But effectively, that's what it is, guys. As uh, you can see, it's dead now. Uh, and, and that's it. And now, in terms of, of the loot, it's going to be uh, very sad, really, because uh, when it comes down to what you can loot, it's only XP, really. And that's it a part of the single skull catalyst as well. Uh, not too much for the big effort of killing the warden. But there you go, guys. It is what it is. So please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.